नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान पार्थय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणन स्वयं व्यासन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणि भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायि अंबत्वासंदा भगवदगीते भवत्षिणि ओ भगवदगीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव इनलाइटनमेंट टू पार्थ द एंशंट सेज व्यास इंक्लूडेड इट इन द महाभारत ओ गॉडेस शॉवर ऑफ द नेक्टर लाइक नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन डिजम कंटेंट इन योर एटीन चैप्टर्स ओ माय एफेक्शनेट मदर द डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ रीबर्थ आई मेडिटेट अपॉन दी कृष्ण वंदना वसुदेव सुत कंसचाणूर मर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गुरु सन ऑफ वसुदेव द स्लेयर ऑफ कंस एंड चाणूर एक्स्ट्रीम डिलाइट फॉर मदर देवकी ओ लॉर्ड कृष्ण द सुप्रीम टीचर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स माय सैल्यूटेशन टू यू Shrimad Bhagavad Gita the 15th adhyay and today is the last shloka of this Purushottam Yoga the 15th adhyay of Shrimad Bhagavad Gita and Shri Krishna has uh, told a great uh, 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 secret to us for that matter of this journey from the level of jivatman getting trapped into this uh, 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 impermanent body the body filled with changes moment to moment every moment uh, uh, you know undergoing that change and the jivatman the journey towards becoming one with the parmatman using this body as the vehicle now this is really a, a, a very important uh, a thought provoking teaching that shri krishna has given to us are we utilizing this vehicle in the proper manner is it that the focus the the, the entire uh, concept of uh, uh, this jivatman taking up the body is as a vehicle is to move on this journey to move on this journey of attaining the ultimate truth of attaining the ultimate knowledge and knowing who we are where we do belong who am i hmm? and then somewhere on this journey we find the answer who i am we start complaining contemplating on this feebleness of this uh, uh, the, the vehicle as such the, the the fleeting nature of all the things surrounding this vehicle that we are uh, using everything is fleeting everything is changing and then we start uh, contemplating there is something has got to be one without any change which doesn't mutate which is immutable which is uh, a permanent uh, uh, existence and then we start getting an answer and shri krishna clearly he ha- here he has told us that while the jivatman and the vehicle hmm, is is trapped in this uh, 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 duality of kshara and akshara of kshara purusha as the body and akshara purusha as the jivatman there is something which is much above these two there is something extremely above the kshara deha the kshara prakriti and way way uh, even above the kshara purusha of course is above uh, the kshara but there is something which is even much superior to this akshara purusha the jivatman and that entity is the purushottama and shri krishna told us that the knowers who have gained this knowledge they realize that purushottama to be the ultimate tatva and way above the prakriti as well as the jivatman the moment that realization dawns one the moment that knowledge comes that leads way to the devotion that leads way to worshiping with all the heart by dedicating oneself to that 
akshara to that uh, uh, parama purusha to that purushottama to that para brahman to that paramatma and such asamudha such undiluted ones they ultimately they help this jivatman to merge with the ultimate origin yo mami vasamudho janati purushottamam yaha sam asamudha those knowers those realizers those enlightened souls hmm? those undiluted ones yaha asamudha that undiluted one who knows janati mam eva purushottama who knows that i am only that purushottama who knows in reality i am that purushottama who knows this that i am nothing but the para brahman i am nothing but the paramatman what happens to them sa sarvavit bhajati mam sarva bhavena o bharata o greatest among the bharat clan arjuna sa that person that spiritual aspirant mam bhajati sarva bhavena starts worshiping me with all the heart with all the devotion with all the dedication and why that happens because saha sarvavit he is the knower of all one who knows i am the parmatman one who knows the ultimate reality from whom has descended this jivatman and this prakriti and this jivas when he gets to know that when that undiluted one gets to realize this that is the moment of getting complete enlightenment that is the moment of getting all the knowledge and he becomes sarvavit and the moment he becomes sarvavit one becomes he gets this greatest of the knowledge then he starts worshiping me with all the devotion hmm? sarva bhavena bhajanti maam bhajanti maam bhajati sarva bhavena he starts worshiping she starts worshiping me with all the devotion with all the heart with all the emotions and sentiments and whatever is there to be offered to the lord so shri krishna has uh, taught us this uh, uh, the truth in the 19th uh, adhyaya 19th shloka and today we are going to read this 20th shloka what is the ultimate benefit that the spiritual aspirant derives what is that ultimate benefit of merging one with the brahman para brahman and now shri krishna is telling us iti guhyatamam shastram ida muktam maya nagh etad buddha buddhiman syat krut krutyasch bharat now previous shloka shri krishna has told us that how from knowledge one gets uh, uh, evolved into the bhakti sarvavid sar from the position of sarvavid nor of all that person that spiritual aspirant bhajati mam sarva bhavena he becomes starts worshiping me with all the devotion with all the heart and now shri krishna is telling my dear friend hmm, anagha anagha is o sinless one now arjuna have did this uh, term uh, shri krishna has referred to earlier also as far as referring to arjuna anagha that o sinless one one who has not committed any sin one who is always on the right path on the dharma path dharmic path so shri krishna addresses him because arjuna also at the end of uh, 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 listening to the this uh, discourse of the gita he is ultimately he is going to uh, participate in that war of mahabharata so let there be no confusion in his mind let there be no delusion in his mind there is uh, let there be no mudhata uh, in his mind that he is going to perform a sin by killing the enemy that is not the sin shri krishna is telling and therefore he tells you are sinless although you are going to participate in this mighty warfare killing many of the enemy from the enemy camp you are not going to incur any sin you are anagha already krishna has certified arjuna that you are the sinless one 
So don't bother about what is going to happen and what is. So Sri Krishna referring to Arjuna is anagha in this shloka. He is telling him, Iti guhyatamam shastram. This, the most secret of the sciences. This, the most secret of the knowledge. Huh? The, the guhyatamam shastram. Idam, uh, idam uktam maya. I have just now told you, anagha, O sinless one. This supreme most knowledge, this supreme most science for that matter, this supreme most secret, Guijatamam, I have just now declared to, to you. Idam Uktam Maya. I have told you this thing. The relationship between the Purushottama, the Jivatman and the Prakriti and how this Jivatman is hastening towards, running towards the Purushottama and this Prakriti is trying to pull it down with every attempt up. Prakriti pulls down that uh, poor fellow hmm? ten, 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 ten uh, uh, feet down with every feet going up. Ten feet down, down, down. And this has been going on in the cycle. But the stage comes. The stage comes when the knowledge dawns that Prakriti is different. I am different. I belong to that. When that knowledge dawns, when that run towards the Paramatman, that rush towards the Paramatman, Parabrahman, takes uh, the final, uh, you know, jump, then there is becoming one with the Paramatman. And Sri Krishna says, this is the highest secret. This is the supreme most secret knowledge that I have imparted to you. One who understands this, one who gains this knowledge, becomes totally devoted to the ultimate Purusha, to the Supreme Self. And then, Etat Buddha Buddhima Asyat Kruta Krutishcha Bharata. Having, having, knowing this, knowing this ultimate truth, knowing this most, uh, 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 the, 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 the uh, you know, uh, hidden truth from uh, all the Jivas for that matter. Once, this gets exposed to that Sarvavid, the knower of all. Once this truth gets exposed, that knowing this, a man becomes enlightened. Etat buddhva buddhimansya. Having known this, the ultimate enlightenment, the ultimate illum illumination dawns on that spiritual aspirant. Yes, now I know who I am. I know where I am going. I know where I truly belong to. That is the uh, ultimate enlightenment. That is the ultimate illumination. So with that ultimate knowledge, with that ultimate knowledge dawns the devotion. So from Jnana comes the Bhakti, from Jnana comes the worship mode with full dedication, with full devotion. And with that, what happens? That happens uh, what, what, what is the next step on that? Krita Pratyascha. And that is the culmination of all the duties. There also accomplishes that aspirant, accomplishes all that is to be gained by Karma Yoga. And then the real Karma Yoga starts for that aspirant till the body remains. It is only then the journey towards the end. It is journey towards a permanent end, not the intermittent end like taking birth in another uh, body again. Then that person, that spiritual aspirant, for that aspirant, all the duties cease. Krita Krita So, Sri Krishna has told uh, in this last shloka of the Purushottama Yoga how the, 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 uh, the uh, uh, commonality, how, how the three yogas, the jnana, bhakti and karma, they complement each other. They are not contradictory to each other. They complement each other. Gaining that knowledge, one starts uh, becoming totally devoted to the purushottama. And once a person, once a spiritual aspirant becomes 100% devoted, sola ana, that's what Sri Ramakrishna always used to refer to that term. Because most days the currency was in rupee ana pai. 16 anas used to make one rupee. 
So that sola ana bhakti, the moment a devotee, the moment a spiritual aspirant gets into that mode of bhakti, total surrender, total sharanagati, whatever is there, he is that supreme lord, that will take care of me. The moment that realization dawns, then all the works, kruta krutyascha, all the works cease. That is the cessation of all the karma for that person. And once that cessation of karma happens, once there is no more karma to be performed, once all the, <coughs> even the backlog of the karma, of the sanchita, of the prarabdha, once that entire backlog is washed off, there is no need to come back again then. So with jnana and bhakti and accomplishment of all the karma, the cessation of all the karma, then the jivatman is free to merge with the Paramatman, then the Jivatman is free to merge with the Parabrahman, to merge with the Paramatman. So this is what uh, uh, Sri Krishna has uh, uh, so completed this uh, Purushottam Yoga with this uh, another uh, uh, enlightening uh, verse that having known this secret, I am sharing you the greatest of the secrets. I have already shared. I have shared with you the greatest of the secrets. O oh, Anaga, O oh, Sinless One. You need not be afraid of uh, uh, that I will be committing any sin. You are Anaga. And to you I have shared with you the topmost secret on this path of liberation. And having known this, having known this secret, the person becomes enlightened. And once the person becomes enlightened, once the spiritual aspirant gets the ultimate illumination, all his duties are accomplished. There is nothing more to be done. There is completion of all the karma for that matter. Annihilation of the karmic account. There is no more backlog. Account is zero to zero. No opening, no closing, nothing in between. Everything is wiped out. The slate is clean and I am now free to go back to my own source, my original source. Though the whole of Bhagavad Gita is a profound teaching, this chapter in particular is pronounced as profound. The Guhyatamam because of the quintessence of Vedanta being enshrined in it. All the knowledge of uh, Vedanta for that matter, the separation of Prakriti from the Purushottama from the Parama Purusha by way of this intermittent Akshara Purusha Jivatman this entire uh, the, 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 the knowledge in the Vedanta is covered in this one shloka in this one Adhyaya also He who has realized Brahman is a Jnani and all his duties and obligations terminate with the realization of Brahman then there is no more karma. So having got the jnana, one gets into the mode of bhakti and once one gets into the mode of that total bhakti, the uh, total sharanagati, then there is nothing to be done. There is nothing to be performed. There is no obligation to do any karma at all. And once there is no karma at all, there is total mukti. <coughs> there is no attainment superior to that of Brahman. The knower of Brahman becomes Brahman and that is Mukti. And then that is the ultimate liberation. That is the ultimate Mukti, the Nirvana. Now what uh, Sri Ramakrishna says on this? Sri Ramakrishna says, The human birth is rare to obtain. These three things are extremely rare. Our scripture says, uh, scriptures say, these three things are extremely rare to obtain. Hmm? The, the, the uh, inqu inquisitiveness towards uh, the Supreme, and then the uh, get, get, getting along, I mean, getting the opportunity of being with the holy people. And also rarest of the rare thing is to get human birth. Because it is, it is only in the human birth. It is only with these senses that we have, the, with the internal faculties that one possesses in the human birth, that one can proceed on this path towards liberation. The human birth is rare to obtain. After having obtained it, the mumukshatvam is also rarest of the rare. Having 
getting a human birth is uh, extremely rare and then to get that inquisitiveness to that uh, urge you know uh, uh, getting that urge to get rid of this uh, bonding getting rid of this temporary fleeting uh, worldly uh, life that urge of becoming a moksha of becoming the inquisitive aspirant where who am i where am i going which is my source answers to all these questions that inquisitiveness is called as mumukshatva and that happens only with the human birth after having obtained it if man does not aspire for the realization of ishvara he is born in vain having got this rarest of the rare birth among all these uh, 64 uh, lakh of yoni uh, yonis uh, the so called 64 lakh births that are uh, there the beings that are there in this uh, uh, creation if having got that human birth which is the rarest if i don't become mumukshu if i don't become inquisitive as to who am i i don't start finding answers to where i belong to then sri ramakrishna says that human birth is in vain then there is no point uh, no difference between taking a birth as a human being or as uh, uh, any other animal or even as uh, you know someone from the plant kingdom or even from uh, uh, yes, uh, someone which is non moving there is no point then sri, uh, sri ramakrishna says so having got the human birth better get into this act of inquisitiveness who i am gain that knowledge become devoted to the ultimate purusha become devoted with all the heart and devotion to that uh, paramatman and having got devotion devoted to the paramatman get rid of all those duties that you have to perform again no more duties the you become one becomes kritakritya that is the end of all the duties that are to be performed and once that happens there is nothing but mukti that is becoming one with the param brahma so that is how this purushottam yoga shri krishna has uh, excellent uh, in an excellent manner he has uh, uh, explained to us the all these intricacies of the prakriti of the jivatman of the paramatman so let us all uh, from our end also try to uh, pitch into uh, this journey and gain something out of it and like sri ram krishna says that since we have got this human birth let us try to make an effort at least what happens in the end let the paramatman decide hmm? let the paramatman decide whether paramatman wants this jivatman who is in this body to become one with that ultimate entity that let us leave it to parmatman having understood this having devoted ourselves let us at least get rid of the performance of any of the duties further let us become krutakritya by getting this guhyatamam shastram iti shrimad bhagavad gita su upanishatsu brahma vidyayam yoga shastre shri krishna arjuna samvade purushottam yogo nama panchadasho dhyayah in the upanishad of the bhagavad gita the knowledge of brahman the supreme the science of yoga and the dialogue between sri krishna and arjuna this is the 15th discourse entitled designated as the yoga of the supreme self om namo bhagavate vasudevaya shri krishna arpanamastu jai shri ramakrishna jai thakur jai ma jai swami ji